Thank you for joining us. Fighting has erupted in the occupied West Bank after Israeli forces launched an operation against a Palestinian armed group called the Lion's Den. The occupation forces entered the old town of Nablus on Monday night, sparking protests. At least four people have been killed in Nablus and one near Ramallah. Another 21 have been injured. There have been power cuts in parts of the city. Demonstrations have also been reported in Ramallah. Nida Ibrahim has more from Ramallah. It's important to point out that the Lions Den has had a lot of support by Palestinians lately. We've seen Palestinians praising them. Those groups of people are, have posed a challenge to uh, Israel, not only because they are young men who say that Israel only understands the language of poor, sometimes going inside Israel or to confrontation points and uh, carrying out shooting attacks against Israel but also because they are cross-factional. They're from different Palestinian factions. They are mobilized uh, in a way that was hard for Israel to penetrate. And we've seen uh, an increase in the Israeli measures to try and track down um, the lion's den. The city of Nablus has been under siege for more than two weeks. So we know that the tension is high. We are approaching the Israeli elections. This is a time when many Palestinian analysts would tell you Israel would try to show that it has an iron fist, that it's trying to um, win more votes by appealing to the right-wing voters in Israel and by showing that they are cracking down on any military activities by the Palestinians. So what do we know about the Palestinian group, the Lion's Den? Well, members of the armed group first appeared in public in Nablus in the occupied West Bank last month. They recited what they called a charter of resistance during a memorial service for two Palestinians killed by Israeli forces. Since then, the Lion's Den has claimed responsibility for a number of attacks on military checkpoints and illegal settlements in Nablus. Ibrahim Yunus is a media coordinator for the Palestinian Youth Movement. He says the Lion's Den armed group emerged from an urgent need to protect the occupied territories. To understand the, the perspective of Palestinian youth in the West Bank, you have to look at a situation where there's uh, 800,000 settlers who are illegally occupying um, a great percentage of the land there. You have constant daily attacks on Palestinian youth who are, whether they're crossing checkpoints, whether they're walking to school or to work, uh, the number of pal young Palestinians run over by cars uh, or attacked by settlers is large. So obviously there's going to be a lot of popularity among youth in the West Bank when a group uh, says that they're not going to accept uh, the presence of these settlers uh, on their land. Uh, they uh, emerged out of a group of youth who defend the city, essentially, from Israeli incursions and uh, decided to create a more formal group uh, that would defend the city, which is where the group name and uh, organizational structure sort of emerged. Uh, they do not have a working relationship with the Palestinian Authority. So the Palestinian Authority uh, at the higher levels uh, collaborates uh, with or coordinates security with, with Israel and uh, the Lion's Den uh, does not. So they do not have a formal relationship. 